This is Brickhead Boy Toy Reviews, and this will be a double review. So we have Semble Block. This one's a German half track with a Sherman tank. Let's open them. Here are the contents laid out on the German side Semble Block. We have this set number 101321, 355 pieces, and Empires of Steel. So here's your sticker sheet for that, along with a brick separator and seven bags, which we'll look into in a few seconds. On the right, your Sherman 101304, three, uh, 437 pieces, seven bags as well, and brick separator, along with another large sticker sheet. They're equal in size, so let's move them. the sets complete two of them first off the german half track you have four minifigures with your swastika and you have all your um accessories here which i'm not going to take out however on the instruction book it'll show you just pretty much what you get so three uh three of those and your leftover sticker sheet and both these use exactly 21 stickers and the only pieces left on this side are four hands on this side is your Sherman tank with three minifigures and you have a little camp along with same thing here you have a little bit different um, pack of accessories and show you here what you get sticker sheet left over and leftover pieces are three hands a track link and a slope piece on the back of both instruction books are little stats so I don't know what those are supposed to represent so moving on nothing too special about this um, though it might offend some people the swastika symbol and the German figures are excellent qual uh, quality. The printing, superb. Uh, the facial expressions. And a few of these have arm printings as well on the sides. And he has printing on the side, on the legs. And there are some back printings as well. Here they are without their helmets. And they look pretty mad and here is the half track it is almost perfect almost there are some flaws with this which I'll go through in a second but the build itself is very solid it's almost 
as if uh, it's a Brickmania or fan built. Um, I don't know if they just stole instructions, but yeah, very solid. So what I mean by almost perfect is the side, these wheels stick out a little bit over the track, which I don't like. And also too, these wheels are the wrong one. So you can see the wheels are meant for the tires. So I meant to say that the tires were wrong and I'm supposed to use these type of tires instead. As shown in the picture and in the instruction book. So these are the right type of tires, not this one, which was included. Anyways, back to this. Um, like I said, use 21 stickers, which give this model a life, or bring it to life. Looks a little bit plain without the stickers. Not really much function. Um, this can rotate and go up and down. And inside, there's just steering wheel and um, a shift. You have a, this thing here, that's pretty much it, and tracks move. So not much play with this. And here's a driver inside along with your minifigure standing next to it, that's the scale. Up next is the American side Sherman tank, just like the other set, nothing too spectacular about this. Instead of four minifigures, you have three this time. and. Again, excellent printings. And on the back too, you have some printing as well. Here they are again, and I didn't notice the middle guy, but he has a scarred eye. Another awesome build, just like the half track. This one is awesome too. Um, probably my favorite Sherman tank out of all my collections. The scale to me is just right, um, even though it doesn't have a hatch here there's only a hatch on top still I think the scale is just perfect and with the stickers too brings this thing to life this one again just doesn't have as many functions either you can open the back here it doesn't really do anything and I think it's ingenious the uh, not the, tur the turret can rotate but the uh, cannon can elevate up and down I just like that there's also a hidden feature you have these flick fire not flick fire but these missiles here shoot them out two of them however there's a flaw here the tracks look nice they just don't rotate that well because it just gets stuck even on carpet, it's getting stuck, so very immobile. Another small flaw too is just this back piece here of the turret comes off pretty easy. I mean, if you rock it back and forth, so there's not much to hold it. Other than that, again, it's a solid build and beautiful looking set. And of course, the hatch can open on top to accommodate one of your minifigures. Yay! So let's recap. Uh, first off, the flaws are wrong tires for the half track. Um, the Sherman tank, it's hard to roll the tracks. Other than that, um, builds were solid. Um, bricks are pretty strong. Bricks are, to me, remind me of Enlighten and Oxford. So a combination between the two, which is very good no missing pieces I got this at eBay um, half track for about 15 and the tank for 13 so in my opinion this is definitely worth it if you don't like the bricks just the instructions and the stickers themselves are worth it you can actually build these with Lego and use the instructions and stickers for yourself and throw away the bricks if you want but in my opinion these are so awesome for that price awesome minifigures awesome vehicles I recommend these this brickhead boy thanks for watching